Let's go, Chriso. Let's go, Chriso. Let's get to cooking. Today, we making a breakfast sausage casserole. How hard could it be? A bag of groceries. Damn! Oh, crap. I know some of y'all probably saw my cookies in there. Yes, that's not on the ingredients list, but y'all know I need a snack when I'm like cooking. Because if I don't have a snack, I'm gonna start eating some of the sausage, I'm gonna start eating some of the eggs. So like, I need this right here. I've actually never had these before. Normally I get the regular chewy ones, but I said red velvet? The red velvet? I gotta try that. We do two things on this channel. We cook and we eat. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Not better than the original Chewy ones, if you ask me, but these are good, mad good, mm-hmm. So, the first thing we're gonna do is cook up our sausage. Now, I got me the regular Jimmy Dean sausage, and then I got the maple sausage, all right? These two together make, uh, I believe, one pound of sausage, so this should be enough for our casserole. It's crazy because we're actually starting a meal where we don't cut onions and garlic. That's crazy. It's almost like every meal we cut onions and garlic, but now we are doing something a little different. But now that I'm thinking about it, I can still cook this sausage with onions and garlic. Well, all right, so we're gonna put our fire to a medium heat. You know how we do. All right, so I've never used these kind of sauces that come in this like squishy package. I normally just get the ones that you just open up and they're already like in sausage form. So this is kind of cool because it's from scratch. Now it has this weird thing, which I'm not really sure how to open. I don't know if you pull it or what. So we're going to cut it. I feel like that makes sense. I was about to say, I'm like, yo, can my knife not cut this? I thought these knives could cut through anything. All right, so it's open. It looked kind of weird though. Eee. Both sausages going in the pan. Yeah, that looked pretty weird. <laughs> I got the regular and the maple, so that should be like a good mix. Just start mixing all of that up. Yep, we gonna get this fully cooked. We don't want no pink in our sausage. While our sausage is doing what it's supposed to do, we gonna get our bread. So I got bread that I already had and new bread because you know me, I'm always getting too many things and I didn't know how much bread I was really gonna need for this. For this recipe, we need half a loaf of bread. So this is about half a loaf right here. This is a full loaf and yeah, that's about half. It's crazy because I already had this at the crib. I technically didn't even need this, but so we're gonna take our bread and we're gonna get it ready for the casserole. So we're gonna take all this bread out. And it's funny, it's actually good that I had this bread already because this recipe works best when your bread is like a little older. Now mind you, my bread ain't old. All right, this is fresh bread. But like, it's been there for at least a week and a half. Now we're gonna take our bread and we're gonna cut it into cubes. So like literally put the bread like this and we're gonna make cubes. So this is one. See what I'm saying? I'm gonna cut it down. That's a little harder. Then we're gonna turn it so that we got a bunch of little squares. Yeah. We're just gonna put in these squares into our baking pan. And we just wanna layer everywhere in our pan. So like, yeah, we fill up this whole thing. Once it's all filled, we hit it with a nice push, flatten it so that it makes the base of our casserole nice and flat. You gotta use your muscles now. Now that we got that nice and flat, let's move on to the eggs. We need five eggs. I just realized I need to get like a container to like mix all my stuff in. But uh, right now, we back to the old red cup. So four eggs, well, five eggs, my bad. Five eggs we need. One. Two. Three. 
I, I got that out. Okay, maybe I should just crack them regular. Oh crap. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Don't play with your eggs, people. Just take your, your spoon or your fork and just give it a nice, nice normal crack. Now we have some half and half. I put a little in already and I'm gonna need a bigger, I'm gonna need something bigger than this cup. Cause this cup, this ain't cutting it. Let me see. Oh man, let me not make a mess. It already seems like I'm making a mess. Hold on. Uh, oh yeah, see I got the eggs and the half and half, but I guess this was better to mix it in. So right now I'm mixing up the five eggs. You want two cups of half and half, which is damn near this whole carton. And it's filling up my whole thing. Like, <laughs> I need a bigger mixer. Ooh, will I be able to put all of this in here? Y'all see how at the top of the edge this is? Look at this. See, this whole thing is two cups and I need to put two cups in, but look where we at. It's like, eee, I almost poured all of this in there. All right, yeah. Oh, oh crap, oh crap, yeah, that's enough, that's enough. Cooking is messy business, y'all. Crazy, it's funny how this didn't spill though, like it went right to the edge. See, it no better than the spill on the floor, no better. Now we taking this sausage that we have fully cooked and we're putting it on top of our bread sheet. We're just gonna put all of this on top of our bread. That's our second layer. Look at that. All spread out. Ooh wee. Man, I kinda wanna eat this just like this. Mm. Sausage is done. Hold on, let me take a little piece of that. You know what I'm saying? Let me get a little. Oh yeah. Come on, Chico. You know I ain't gonna leave you out, brother. Come on. Yeah. Why are you just gonna drop it like that? Here you go, Chico. Everybody eats. Go ahead, get you some. Yeah. So now we're gonna take the mix we had and we're gonna pour it right on top of our sausage and bread. Yeah, that last layer. All on top of there. All on top of there. Just cover the whole thing. And then last but not least, we put that cheese on top. That cheese right on top. I'm basically just gonna cover this whole thing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Alright. This is what I'm talking about. Yes, Lord. Alright, y'all can see. Y'all can see how all that cheese and the cream is all that in the bottom. Man, when this cooks, it's gonna be fire. You could just see all of that goodness gonna cook together. So what we got to do with this is we have to actually wrap this, put it in the refrigerator and low key keep it there for like eight hours. Yeah. Normally when you make a meal like this, if you wanted to eat it for breakfast, you would leave it in the refrigerator for overnight, take it out in the morning and put it in the oven for about an hour. Let it cook for an hour. I can't really put it into the oven right now because you got to let this stuff sit. You got to let all that juices and everything marinate. So we're going to put it in the refrigerator for eight hours. Take it out and see what's good. Let go. You gotta give it a nice little wrap. And then it's a wrap. <laughs> All right, so cover that. It's crazy that you gotta let this sit for like eight hours. That's like all day. But a wise man once said, great things take time. Into the refrigerator we go. I'm the type of person who eats breakfast for dinner anyway, so that's gonna make a perfect breakfast dinner. Just took that out of the oven. Aye! Man, this joint is hot as hell. So look, man, it's looking all creamy, cheesy, good. I'm about to let that sit for a minute. Make me a little plate. And it's a day. Look at this. All right, hold on. The one hand man. Let me see if I can get y'all that good angle. Wee! Look at that cheesy sausage goodness. Wow. 
just wow. It looks great. It smells great. Look at this. It's cheesy. Oh my gosh. Wow. Mm hmm. This is what I would call the perfect breakfast. Yeah. I don't even know how you can make this better. The bread, everything is just letting it sit, really let everything set. It's like, mm. Mm. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Just look at this. Wow. I'm glad I got a lot of this left. And I mean a lot of it. <laughs> Let me know what you want us to make next. Uh, looking for it.